Hey, this is Bill playing ATC Pro. This is uh, Atlanta. Atlanta's got five runways. You get the uh, runway here at the top. It's runway uh, eight left, two six right. That one's nine thousand feet. Then you've got uh, nine right, uh, two six left. That one is uh, 9,999 feet, so about 10,000 feet. Then you got the terminals. Uh, the main terminal is right here. And then all the other ones are connected by a tunnel underneath. It's got the, one of those moving pedestrian sidewalks. And I think it also has a tram. Uh, and then below that is uh, the other runways. You got uh, runway 9 left, 27 right. That one is uh, 12,390 feet somewhere around there anyway uh then below that you got the uh, runway nine uh, right two seven left that one's nine thousand feet then you've got the uh, runway ten and two eight that one is also nine thousand feet this one they basically use for arrivals they rarely use it for departures Atlanta is the home of Delta they moved it from Cincinnati now they're in Delta or in Atlanta this is their corporate headquarters. Uh, they bring in all their planes here pretty much to also do maintenance. So their maintenance shop is right here. The maintenance shop also does outside work like uh, FedEx, stuff like that though. They can get them repaired here. Uh, they, they got some uh, smaller plane repair shops. I don't think they're related to Delta. I know there's a couple that are uh, private. But they do like the Lears and Cessna planes and stuff like that. And like I said, here's the terminals. You got uh, overseas cargo uh, loading and unloading here. And there's the lonely little 2810 runway. You got a helicopter landing pad. I think they can park up to about 10 helicopters off this side. You got DHL. UPS and FedEx. I don't think there's any military per se at uh, or stationed here at the base. You know, like an Air, Air National Guard wing or Air Force Reserve. So anyway, oops. All right, so I got set up for Atlanta Airport. 100% traffic, random weather, and uh, time 7 a.m. I'm going to use uh, runway eight left. Nine right, and go ahead and use ten. All right, be right back. Tower, American two six five five, requesting push and start. Uh, my first victim. American two six five five. American two. No, it's not working. Let's see if I can get the old. Oh, it's moving at least. Nine lift. Push back approved. Ground. Nine or left. Push back approved. American 2655. The way Atlanta is set up to work, or how they operate, they've got five runways, so they got five uh, tower controllers. Each one has a runway. Then they have three controllers up in the tower for ground. Uh, we got one controller that handles 8 left, 8 right, a controller that handles uh, 9 right, 9 left, and then a controller that handles uh, 10, which is the bottom one. And then also uh, each runway is, a uh, set of runways is designed or set up for uh, certain areas of the United States. So let's say 8 left, the way I got it set up, they're coming into land on 8 left. Planes from uh, Tower, Delta 667 with you, runway 9 or right. Delta 667, Delta 667, enter final runway 9 or right. Negative. <laughs> Delta 667. Delta 667, enter final runway 9 or right. Negative. Delta 667. I'm letting go of the button too quick. Delta 667, enter runway 9 or right. Negative. Delta 667, Delta enter final. Runway Niner right. 
Enter final runway 9 or right delta 667. Anyway, so uh, A left planes from, uh, let's say, San Francisco, Seattle, uh, Minneapolis, Omaha, Denver, Chicago, uh, Cincinnati. They land on A left. And then uh, 9 right, I've got the planes coming in here. In real life, they've got uh, southwest, uh, south, southeast, uh, northeast. So you got uh, Los Angeles, San Diego, Houston, uh, Louisiana, I mean, uh, New Orleans, uh, like South America, Mexico would fly in through here. So you get the idea, like, New York would come here too. Ground, American 2655 ready to taxi. American 2655, runway 9 or left, taxi via Lima. Runway 9 or left, taxi via Lima, American 2655. Same thing about the departures for 9 right. I mean, 9 left would uh, be like uh, New York, uh, North Carolina, South Carolina, Florida, Louisiana, Texas, Arizona. So it all depends on where, what they get funneled into. So I don't know since... There's only one controller that'd be me doing the whole thing. I don't know Tower, that may Delta be too Delta 886 requesting push and start. Oops. Delta 886 push back approved. Expect runway 9 or left. Ground. 9 or left push back approved. Delta 886. So I'm, I'm pretty sure they won't do it that way. <coughs> Here's one I did. Hardly anybody would know the uh, codes to the airports, every one of them. Because what happens is uh, when they're at the uh, gate, they're talking to uh, flight data and... Uh, oh shoot, I can't remember what it's called. Anyway, they're talking to a guy that... Uh, or a woman. Tower, Delta 2575 with you, runway 9 or right. Delta 2575, inner final runway 9 or right. Enter final runway 9 or right Delta 2575. Talking to a controller that's giving them flight information. If there's a flight plans changed, any bad weather, what to expect at the other end, etc., etc. So when they're all cleared and buttoned up, ready to go, flight data will tell them to uh, contact uh, ground on such and such frequency. Well, that right away tells them what runway they're taking off. The pilots probably know anyway because they know where they're flying, so they know what runway they need to go to. And, uh,. Up in the tower, the ground, we get a flight strip. Uh, it's all computerized now, I believe. Most most airports have the computer. They don't have the actual strips anymore. But anyway, they might. And I digress. So they know uh, where they're going and what runway to put them on because they've got them. So if you're going like to Boston, then uh, they probably send them to the control that controls nine right. I mean nine left. So they know that. Uh, they see Boston, they know it's there he is. But here, you'd have to look up to see who each individual airport, what, you know, where it's going. So I'm almost positive they don't do that. So what I'm going to do is, there's like a gap in between the terminals. Anything north of that's going to 8 right. Anything left, south of that will go to 9 left. Unless they're heavies. If they're heavies and I can catch it, I'm going to send them all down here 9 left. It's 9 left is the longer runway. Ground. Delta 886 ready to taxi. Delta 886 runway 9 or left taxi via Lima. Runway 9 or left taxi via Lima Delta 886. Well, I don't know if I explained it right or not, but I mean explained it very well. So we will see. It just helps keep them from uh, crossing each other. If I know uh, aircraft's going north, northwest, like going to Seattle, I'll kick them up to 8 right. But otherwise, uh, I'm not going to bother with it. I'll take a look and see if I can figure out who, where they're going, but leave it at that. And a lot of people that play the game, I see them uh, or hear them. You can do it, it's no problem. You tell them to clear the land all the way back out to 20 miles. But in reality, the tower wouldn't get them until about 12 to 10 miles in, and then they wait until about their seven, five to seven miles to clear them to the runway. 
So that's why I try to simulate that. Even though I've got them 20 miles out, I'll wait until they get about here 7 miles and tell them they're clear for the runway to land. Delta 667, runway 9 or right, clear to land. Runway 9 or right, cleared to land, Delta 667. American 2655 is going to Dallas Fort Worth. Delta 866 is going to LaGuardia, New York. New York, New York. Uh, Delta coming in, the first one, 667, is coming in from Birmingham. And Delta 2575 is coming in from Charlotte Air Force Base, CHS. Charlotte Air Force Base also has a civilian uh, terminals in it, so it's a joint uh, airport. The Air Force has a big uh, transport, so it's an airlift, airlift command. I don't know what the wing number is. And I know a few of these, but I don't know them all. Especially when you get to the smaller airports. Gotta help me on that. The big ones you can pretty much figure it out by their initials. Alright, American 2655. I'll have them line up and wait. Because by the time he gets to the runway and gets on it, Delta which should be in within f five miles or under. I'd say about four miles. So that's too close. If he was out seven, I'd go ahead and depart him. But Yeah, cool thing also if you uh, want to see something neat, if you get into the aircraft and the landing. Go to YouTube, put in uh, Atlanta Airport, three planes landing at the same time. There's a video of a passenger uh, taking a filming out the window. He's like uh, over the left wing. But right next to them is a, another Delta. And then on the side, of the, on the other side of that delta is another delta. So there's three aircraft, same altitude, same speed. They're all staying with each other, and they all land on the three runways at the same time. It's pretty cool. American two six five five runway nine or left. Line up and wait. Runway 9 or left line up and wait American 2655. Sorry about the go-go dance there. Delta 2575. Runway 9 or right clear to land. Runway 9 or right cleared to land Delta 2575. American 2655, wind 47 at 6 knots, runway 9 or left, cleared for takeoff. Wind is 47 at 6 knots, runway 9 or left, cleared for takeoff, American 2655. Delta 667, vacate left under taxiway, Sierra Charlie. Vacate runway left onto taxiway, Sierra Charlie, Delta 667.
Delta 667 taxi to gate via November Sierra Mike L7. Ah, oh, dang it. Taxi to apron via November Sierra Mike Alpha Delta 667. Delta 667 taxi to gate via November Sierra Mike Lima 7 Lima. Taxi to apron via November Sierra Mike Lima 7 Lima Delta 667. Yeah, I'm not used to the uh, runways yet, so. Come on. Tower, Southwest 528 requesting push and start. Southwest 528 push back approved, expect runway 9 or left. Ground, 9 or left push back approved. Southwest 528. American 2655 contact departure, good morning. Roger, good morning. Delta 2575, vacate left onto taxiway Sierra Charlie. Vacate runway left onto taxiway Sierra Charlie, Delta 2575. Tower, Delta 9 or 6 0 with you, runway 9 or right. Delta 960, enter final runway 9 or right. Negative. Delta 9 or 60. Delta 960, enter final runway 9 or right. Enter final runway 9 or right, Delta 9 or 60. Delta 2575, taxi to gate via November. November 13. November 12. Lima. Ground. Southwest 528 ready to taxi. Taxi to apron via November, November 13, November 12, Delta 2575. Alright, you might get there. It wasn't quite what I wanted him to do, but I skipped a number. Delta 886 runway. Delta 886 wind 47 at 5 knots, runway 9 or left, cleared for takeoff. Wind is 47 at 5 knots, runway 9 or left, cleared for takeoff, Delta 886. Say again. Delta 2575, taxi to gate via November, November 13, Mike 16, November 12, Lima. Taxi to apron via November, November 13, Mike 16, November 12, Lima, Delta 2575. Alright, that should do it. They could have good Juliet all the way across. Oh well. Do it next time. Southwest 528, runway 9 or left taxi via Lima. Runway 9 or left taxi via Lima, Southwest 528.
Delta 667, continue taxi. Continue taxi Delta 667. Delta 886, contact departure, good morning. Delta 886, contact departure, good morning. Roger, good morning. Delta 667, hold short of Taxiway Lima. Hold short of Taxiway Lima, Delta 667. Tower, ABEX Air 510 with you, runway 9 or right. ABEX Air 510, enter final runway 9 or right. Enter final runway 9 or right, ABEX Air 510. Delta 2575, continue taxi. Say again. Oh, you are. You're moving. Slowly but surely. Delta 667, continue taxi. Continue taxi, Delta 667. Tower, Spirit Wings 550 requesting push and start. Spirit Wings 550, push back approved. Expect runway 8 right. Ground, 8 right, push back approved. Spirit Wings 550. Delta 960, runway 9 or right, clear to land. Runway 9 or right, clear to land, Delta 9 or 60. Tower, Delta 1164 with you, runway 8 left. Delta 1164, enter final runway 8 left. Enter final runway 9 or left, Delta <coughs> 1164. Delta 1164, enter final runway 8 left. Enter final runway 8 left, Delta 1164. Ground, Spirit Wings 550 ready to taxi. Spare Wings 550, runway 8 right, taxi via Foxtrot Hotel. Runway 8 right, taxi via Foxtrot Hotel, Spirit Wings 550. Delta 675, taxi to terminal. Delta 2575, taxi to terminal. Taxi to terminal, Delta 2575. Didn't like my original plan, hmm? I guess that way it was direct. <laughs> Sorry about that. God.
Delta 960, vacate left onto taxiway Sierra Charlie. Vacate runway left onto taxiway Sierra Charlie Delta 960. Southwest 528, wind 475 knots, runway 9 or left, cleared for takeoff. Negative. Southwest, Southwest 528, wind 475 knots, runway 9 or left, cleared for takeoff. Wind is 475 knots, runway 9 or left, cleared for takeoff, Southwest 528. Delta 960, taxi to terminal via November, Delta, Delta Kilo, Lima. Taxi to terminal via November Delta Delta Kilo Lima Delta 9 or 6 0. ABX Air 510 runway 9 or right clear to land. Runway 9 or right clear to land ABX Air 510. Spear wings 550, wind 47 at 5 knots, runway 8 right, cleared to take off. Negative. <laughs> Spirit wings 550. I didn't know I screwed that one up. Spear wings 550, wind 47 at 5 knots, runway 8 right, cleared for takeoff. Wind is 47 at 5 knots, runway 8 right, cleared for takeoff. Spirit wings 550. Delta 1164, runway 8 left, cleared to land. Runway 8 left, cleared to land, Delta 1164. Delta 2575, continue taxi. Continue taxi, Delta 2575. Delta 960, taxi to gate. Say again. Delta 960, taxi to ramp. Taxi to ramp, Delta 960. Southwest 528, contact departure, good morning. <coughs> Roger, good morning.
ABEX Air 510, vacate right onto taxiway Romeo 11. Vacate runway right onto taxiway Romeo 11, ABEX Air 510. Spare wings 550, contact departure, good morning. Roger, good morning. Tower, Alaska 749 are requesting push and start. Alaska 749 push back approved, expect runway 8 right. Ground, 8 right push back approved. Alaska 749 er. I'm going to stop here and make this video number one. Oh, come on. Just make sure everything stopped. Alright, like I said, this is gonna be video one. I uh, appreciate you watching.